się Was zapraszam do oglądania kolejnego odcinka na moim kanale. Mam nadzieję, że będzie Wam się podobać. Jasno. We left Volga behind. Elegancko. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. The bridge dwellers had finally decided to believe that we were not demons and let us pass. Anna was right. We invaded their world. And it's not up to us to destroy it. No matter how stupid it may seem. Electricity is a sin. Is that really worse than the lies we were told in the metro? About how the whole world was dead and there was nowhere to go? Everybody in the tunnels bought that convenient lie. Once we reach Yamantau, we will at least know if that lie was justified. Since so far, we haven't met any signs of enemy occupation. Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on, wake up. Jeszcze 5 minut. I... You did a great job there. We are not home anymore. So we'd all better act like you did. Smoothly. It's not like there's many of us humans left now. So I hope someday we will be able to trust others just because. Because they are people too. Am I bothering you? Sorry, I'm in a philosophical mood today. Stay here for a bit, Artyom. This is great. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom, when you climbed those ruins back in Moscow, with your radio. Did you imagine our life on the surface at all? A home for one, a place where we could live, a log cabin on the outskirts of a forest, or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Though, well, you know, there's something great in simply going anywhere like this, together, through the abandoned stations, the ruins, the wasteland. Especially in our own private compartment. Thinking back, isn't this our honeymoon trip? <laughs> it certainly feels like one, even though it's a bit late. We've only had some honeymoon sorties at best so far. You know, I had a talk with Katya. I'm sitting here recalling that bridge and those people there, and we've been sitting underground for 20 years, and they haven't. So what? These are not the same people. Who used to build cities, planes, and space rockets. They're just like us in Metro, only even more dejected. They are essentially slaves for real they work all day and pray all night always watched always directed everything is under control everything is decided by the community well i mean silentius they don't even have any property even their socks belong to the community they're just entranced with him with his ridiculous lies about electricity of course, not everyone got fooled easily, but if they dare ask questions, they get penance, exercising an electric demon with prayer and the cross. But that's a death sentence. How is a flashlight dangerous? Or a radio? But no, they shun it all. They hide and keep praying. How can you even make people believe this ridiculous garbage within just a few years? People in general start believing lies surprisingly easily, don't they? As long as those lies are convenient or at least familiar. Take us in Metro, 
All right, we haven't met the occupying forces yet. If we disregard that shirt I found on an antenna... <coughs> Katya and Crest never met them either. But maybe they are still out there somewhere. And if they are, then they didn't even tell us about them back home. They didn't tell us that the war was still on. They just made us believe that there's no life anywhere outside of Metro. They've been lying to us. Lying non-stop. All this time. Were their intentions good, perhaps? But the Metro is a castle built on lies. Damn, am I angry. And so far, no matter how far we get, we haven't met a single enemy. Isn't that strange? But Father won't have a word of it. Stay vigilant, be careful, the enemy never sleeps. You know, I love my father. A whole lot, no matter what. But what if everything he's been told is just another layer of lies? I hope we'll find out how deep this rabbit hole is, once we get to Yamantau. <sighs> well, what do you know? I do feel better now, after telling you. Thanks for hearing me out, Artyom. Let's just sit here a little. All right, run along. Dad wanted something. Okay, do Nic. No. has already set his shop up. Wanna go look? It's so cool. Here, Uncle Artyom. Ah, hi, Artyom. See what you dress? Fit for a king, I must say. Ah, what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach. Yet, there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. I'm going in like this too. Looks like we're facing a long journey. Useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many. Oh, a smoke break. That's good. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits. But I'll have to. And soon. It's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know. Old Duke's plate carrier won't hold the back plate anymore. And he jokes that he's lucky it's not the front one. Or else his toes would be in <laughs> Regardless, I am turning this little gang back into a real army. Well, that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. The colonel summoned you. Well, I have stuff to do too. 
You guys are fast to break gear, but none too expedient to fix it. Okay, man. Artyom, come on in and have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. I'm sorry to ask, Katya, but Nastya's father. He's dead, isn't he? Does Nastya know? He is. I tried keeping it a secret. Told her he left for the market. Around three days passed, and I still kept it in. I just sat there with a needle in my hand and didn't see anything. It was all black before my eyes. And then she snuggles up to me and says, You should cry, Ma. You will feel better. Sieni used to say it. So I cried and cried. She knows. She knows it all. I'm sorry, Katya. I'm so sorry. Let me tell you how we ended up at the bridge. We used to live in northeast from here, quite close if you go in a straight line. But it took us a month. Everything's bombed to rubble out there. Yermak asked me and I told him. Sini used to say there were lots of military factories out there. Not just military, of course. General industry. And now you can't pass through there even with filters. The radiation is so high. No railway either, just crater upon crater. We were quite far, but our counter still went crazy. One route appeared intact. There was nothing to bomb. So we used that one, thinking we'd get further to the west, but... But of course they did not let us cross the bridge with the diesel. They said it was satanic. They were ready to let us stay if we gave them the diesel to cleanse it. So we stayed. And then, we couldn't leave, even if we wanted. That old goat, Father Silentius, brainwashed everyone, so they would just pray and bow nonstop. They broke our diesel down with their bare hands and threw it into the river. Purification. And on top of it, they gave us trouble for not helping them. Senia went to check what was going on, and there were only locals there. Because Silentius at the Skatina had sent our people away to test them. He said that if they wanted to be truly accepted, they had to defeat a demon. Senia went to stop them. But it was too late. He only found burnt rags. And then they sent him to do the same. He never came back. Katya, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. Well, you really didn't. What's done is done. <clears throat> <sighs> it kind of got so glum in here. Mm. Perhaps you, Stepan, could play us something. Sure thing! The colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. So, what's up with your plate carrier? Tokere was mad. Ah, uh, it's a long story. Come on, out with it. Well, there I am, sitting on a beam, looking at Artyom milling about below. Oh, you are so full of it. <laughs> Artyom did most of the work. <laughs> Jak bez tyle tą elegancką, no, po cichutku pyktuję. Ale nie ma 
me about the guest yourselves. All right, go on. So I see Artem get to the door, and I think it's time I came down. So I do. But something just holds on to me. What does? How should I know? It's dark. Nobody around. But I can't move. And those locals kept going on about Zai something. So I thought I was in a kind of a bind. So? So I just unfastened the safety and let down. There was that shed down there. The roof was kind of close. Uh, uh, and what about the Tsar? Oh, blue! The Tsar was huge! Scary as shit! And there was this rusty ball, and my carrier got snagged on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, Duke, are lucky you already have a nickname. <laughs> That's hilarious. And what was next? Oh, <laughs> next. Next we jumped that old preacher of theirs. Well, Artem did most of it. <laughs> he swooped in like a hawk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's good. Well, I was clamoring about those beams and fighting that side. <laughs> oh, I'm killing myself. Well, he basically solved the whole problem. True that. Good job, Artyom. Yeah, you both did well. Crest also. <laughs> Sure, he did a swell job distracting those guards. I almost wet my pants with laughter when they started hauling that timber. <laughs> he's an artist. Yeah, he's a great guy. He all came out on top of the game. And that calls for what? A drink. You nailed it. You truly are one of us now, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be joining us? Nah, not now. I'll have some at dinner. Well, you'll have to catch up then. Sure thing. Anyways, we will just have a little as a warm-up now. <laughs> Great! In a... Ah, that's some good yeah. stuff. Uh, guys, there's something I've been thinking about. What does everyone expect of this trip? Personally, I want to come back and tell Sveta of my adventures. So that she'd look at me with her huge grey eyes without blinking and keep saying, You're such a hero, darling. <laughs> so you're expecting heroics and scarves. That works. And why did you come? Well, my heart is aching for true romance. But in the metro, all women want a solid relationship, a reliable husband, a real provider. <laughs> Enough of that smug smile. It's unbearable. Not that I've had much better luck here so far. As soon as Katia came aboard, Stefan started cooing around her like a peacock. <laughs> you should be happy. Katya is a tough girl. You'd be under her thumb in no time. <laughs> that is unlikely. I'm not the kind of man to upstage his friend in the contest for a lady. Especially when that <laughs> friend promises to break my arm. Catch my stroke of luck soon enough. There in Yamantau, women from all over the country have already gathered, waiting for yours truly. <laughs> How about you, Demir? What made you go? Well, uh, at first I just went along with you guys, uh, the Colonel, but even then I thought, this is my chance to make my dream come true. A chance to see Kazakhstan, my people. But first, we must come back to Moscow, because it isn't fair. People must know that they've put up with enough. They are free. 
They can live outside now. What do you think about that, idiot? I'm with you, Demir. Yet, freedom is not so simple. There was this freedom fighter, Che Guevara. He died under 40. Comrade Mao, whose book you've been perusing on the other hand, was a strict ruler but lived a long life. Well, we should have expected that from you. <laughs> Weird thing, though, is that you are called idiot. <laughs> I know. It's by his own choice. Because he's so fond of Chekhov. <laughs> Chekhov, too, of course. But it's Dostoevsky for the most part, said my friend. <laughs> sure, I read the book, too. It's just that I mix him up a lot. Chekhov wrote about that son of Austerlitz, a wounded officer. Powerful imagery. <laughs> you are just killing me. <laughs> How about you, Uncle Sam? Got dreams? You know, I just want to ride my board again. Spark a joint up on a beach. And catch that mm. wave. Deep inside, under a grizzled metro dweller. Hang on, it's cool. There's still a relaxed Californian inside me. Ah, get out of here! <laughs> so you know, before Dad talked me into joining the Corps, I used to wear my hair long. He told me they'd make a decent citizen out of the total disappointment that I was, and sent me to college once I was discharged. I joined, and they sent me to the Middle East. Wow, so do you hope your guys would pick you up? I don't see them around. Yeah, I don't hold my breath for my guys. Once this mission's over, I'll submit my discharge papers. I'll reach the ocean, and there, find a ship maybe? Oh yeah. Just imagine it. You arrive on that ship, and they go like... Ah, the Russians are coming! <laughs> <laughs> you are one of us now. You don't really need to go anywhere. At least don't put your Ushanka on. They will sink you on sight. <laughs> I won't. Though I will take my balalaika with me. Well, your expectations are Leosha are quite obvious, huh? Scantily clad junior officer ladies on the rolling red carpet. Yeah, I'm a simple guy. How about you guys? Well, uh, I hope they will answer a few questions. For example, if there is not a single American within hundreds of miles from Moscow, save for our friend Samuel here, why stay on the ground? I'd put it a bit differently. Did you, dearest High Command gentlemen, know that we in Moscow had to spend 20 years on the ground? Huh, by all means, you can ask those while I'm enjoying my briefing with the junior <laughs> officer ladies, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I'm in the mood for a road trip. Oh, we got ourselves a true traveler here. Yeah, we will have to live and see. You are right. Listen, I had a talk with the Ark. All thanks to Dodor, he got the decoder working. Thank you. 
Jest już pytanie, że nie powinieneś mordu. now you doubting Thomas <laughs> I'm so excited my hands are still shaking oh, the minister himself this is incredible I don't know, I should have changed you should take a look at it I need more to watch it as you can see we are heading almost straight for the Yamantau complex Katya and Chris tell me that the line there is in decent condition Surprising, really, taking into account the number of priority targets there. So we can open. It's not even that far, but our speed depends on the state of the track. Napiszcie komentarz. Do zobaczenia. We are approaching the Yaman. W kolejnym odcinku. Cześć, cześć.